As mayor, how would you help develop the self-care district of Sheboygan? Uh, when I saw this, it was kind of an interesting question for me because, number one, I'm involved with the South Pier District every day, and to me it's part of our triple presentation downtown with the uh, downtown riverfront and South Pier. But when I looked at the question, I was so surprised to see a question that narrow because really we have so many sections in our community that have not been paid attention to properly. I look at South Pier and I truly feel that when the vision was made to build it and do it, as it was got about 25% of the way done, everybody left it and the city didn't pay any attention to it anymore and it sits there trying to bring itself up. I look at what happened at Blue Harbor with the selling of the hotel. I look at what's happened with other buildings down there. We've got trouble right here in River City and it's so obvious right down there. It's a beautiful, beautiful site. Businesses are having problems just maintaining the growth that they need to maintain. And unlike the city, who when our property values go down, they just raise our tax levy. They're in business. I see somebody here from Briscoe. When he has a slow week, he can't raise the price the next week on hamburgers. It doesn't function that way, unless you're the Sheboygan city government. And that's not right. We need to change what we're doing. We have other markets, areas of the city that need growth. Do we need something down there? Yes, what we need is a privatized company that's gonna come in and grow it. Sheboygan has shown we are not developers. This city is not a group of developers. None of us up here are the smartest stick in the world, but we all know what we're strong at and what we're weak at. And it's sharing like we are here today that's gonna to make opportunities happen. But we are, Sheboygan is not a developer, and we have to stop thinking we are. We look at the Shepherd building that's taken 15 years to buy, that's been on the plan. We look at the Pentair building, it's finally gone. Who's the big winner? I kind of feel South Pier is because it's gone, but at the same time, the biggest winner, Pentair. Why? Their tax levy. And who paid the price for that? The people I'm looking at and me. Because when they dropped the building, the tax quality went down. Where's that money going to come from? Probably the two businesses that grabbed me today on South Pier and said, my taxes doubled. What the hell happened, Randy? And I said, I can't believe it. We've got to sit down and do it. I'm not into the tax program. It's not what I'm hired to do. But all of a sudden, I have to be. Do we need growth on South Pier? Yes, we do. We need cleanup on Michigan Avenue, cleanup on Indiana Avenue. We need cleanup of neighborhoods. We need a lot. And somebody needs to be proactive in getting it done. We have four people up on this panel who have been in the government for roughly 20 years. It's time for a change.